So in this video, I just want to go over some of the tips and tricks that you can use in your Blueprint Editor in Unreal 4. Um, the first one is if you hold down control and drag a variable into your scene, you'll actually get that variable. If you hold down Alt and let go in your scene, you'll actually get to set that variable. And if you hold down both and let go, you'll get both the get and set for that variable. So that's just a, an easier way of doing it than dragging it in and then select and get or set. Uh, another thing that you can do is um, to try and keep your scene, I suppose, neat, is you can grab a, a string of expressions, right click them, and then you go alignment, align top or bottom, middle, and you can see it'll align them all as best as it can, okay, and kind of make it neater for you. Uh, you can also set comments. So if you drag over this and hit C, you can set a comment such as overlap, which this is doing. Just means that if I was zoomed out and I wanted to, you know, find something quickly, you know, I've got that big comment, which makes it easier. Uh, if you've got anybody that's, uh, or if you're working on a team, if you've got anybody else coming into the scripting, having comments is an invaluable way to kind of give them direction on what you're trying to achieve uh, with this uh, bit of scripting. Uh, what you'll notice though is when I do this, you've got all these lines that are kind of cutting through each other, which makes things kind of hard. So what I like to do is use the reroute node, okay? And to do that, you can just pull out, type in reroute, and you've got this add reroute node. And basically what this is, is a null object. It doesn't contain any information, but it allows you to reroute a node over and kind of make it a lot neater. Um, Another thing that you can do is, for instance, in my scene, uh, this is my laser pickup um, blueprint. If I was to have two of these in a scene, it's kind of hard for me to tell which one I'm debugging. Okay, I could have a hundred of these blueprints in my scene, and if I wanted to, if I've got two screens, wanted to see which one was fired off or how it was working. Um, to see that functionality happen, it's quite hard, but up here you've got your debug filter, okay? And that will know how many of these blueprints I've got in my scene and their corresponding names in my Word Outliner. So, for instance, this is Laser Pickup 2 and this is Laser Pickup. So, if I wanted to debug Laser Pickup 2, I can just use this debug filter and go Laser Pickup 2. So now when I press play, it will debug just that there one, okay? Which makes it a lot handier. Um, another thing that you can do is using public variables is really, really handy for turning on and off functions in a blueprint. So for instance, uh, I've got these tiles here and I can set some of them to be breakable uh, to have rain particles on them to set off debris, to have sound, um, just by having booleans attached to them. And what I do is, on the left hand side, you can see that these booleans, I can have floats as well, or integers, uh, whatever type of variable that you want, I can set them to public, which means that whenever I drag these in, I can set these ones to not be breakable, to not have rain on them, or to not um, emit any debris when they're destroyed. But the ones below, you'll see that are breakable. So they exactly the same blueprint, but by just turning on and off that variable and press and play here. So these are breakable, and you can see the ones on top of that are not, but they're exactly the same blueprint. Just adds that bit of flexibility in what you can do. Uh, another thing, print strings are your friend in Blueprint. So if you're ever having an issue uh, with anything in your Blueprints and you can't really find out where it's going wrong, use a print string um, to help you figure that out. So for instance, if I thought that this overlap part of my script wasn't working, and I didn't know where it was breaking down, you know, if I thought this boolean here with the branch wasn't working correctly, or the cast player, or the set 
this variable or destroy actor. I didn't know which one was working. I could come in, pull out a print string, and I could type in rocket after set. And I know if I pick up this projectile now and it's working okay and it gets past this set, it should print this out. So if I compile and press play on that, go down to that rocket, up in the top left hand corner, you see that print string. What you can also do in this is print out um, variables. So for instance, I have this spinning around, but it's been spun around by this float variable. What I can do is actually print that variable out when I collect it. You can see it's print out that number now, rather than printing out a string. And it will convert it for you from a float to a string.